gone. Clap. The big guy. To Scully, and then Scully to Watts at full four. There's oh. a shove out. Push. Advantage. And Jarrah gets the goal. So Melbourne get a goal through Jarrah. The free kick to Watts, the advantage bar. Is, is that the only thing to do? Probably. But Scully brilliantly done, and then hooking back and getting a good angle. Well, Jarrah over the back gets his second, and the D's are away. Again, I mean, that was just yeah, a great kick. Yeah, 68-83. This is where you didn't, wouldn't necessarily kick it too quick, kick it long and deep, kick it long and wide. He's done just that. Jara, brilliant. We see that often when when players, teams are going into the forward 50. The yes. The Essen defence was back. It's blocking up the back 50. That you don't really want to go in deep where they can launch a counter attack. So you go in wide into the forward pocket. It's a sort of slightly narrow shot at goal. But if Essen got the footy, it's hard for them to run it out from that part of the field. So it's been a cameo from Jarrod mm. tonight, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. But then, Lee, you talked about where do they find their targets early in the match? Well, they found them in the end, didn't in the they? End. They found some marking targets forward. Jara is one of them. He's had a lot of shots on goal in the end. This will top off a pretty good night. He's kicked three. That's a good return. <laughs> Great scenes here. Great response. Lee and Jara certainly one of the players in the third quarter that got into the game, and that's when Melbourne were able to uh, put some ascendancy on the scoreboard.